I think we got it all so wrong. It's it's so wrong. We got it all so wrong. The whole solitude and loneliness and where it's stemming from and how we can fix this. It's all wrong. I don't know if I'm. I, I always I always feel when I when I watch those YouTube podcasts of all these intelligent people, people with degrees, doctors, psychologists, and I'm just thinking, have you asked? <laughs> have you asked, actually, have you asked a solo person who is happy alone? Have you ever asked? No one, <laughs> no one has ever, actually, a few people have asked me how I am happy alone, but have you asked? I think because people don't believe, don't believe it, and anyway, I was just watching that, uh, I think it's pretty recent, the uh, Diary of a CEO with Trevor Noah, the YouTube podcast. And obviously they started talking, and every time it's just like, like clockwork, they would talk about loneliness and mental health. And he was just saying, I, I think Trevor Noah is a clever man. I think he's an intelligent person. I don't really know him. But from a few things he's ever, he said, I think he's super clever. And anyway, and he said there is a, a loneliness pandemic at the moment, especially with young men. And they were just talking about it with, with the host. I don't remember his name. And Trevor Noah said, I think it's just because now uh, the man a young man or a man doesn't have a purpose. Back in the day was the war. We had war. And the man's purpose was war. I'm going to get up today and I have purpose. War. And they were just talking about this, how war defined the purpose of a man. And it's always been war. And guys, am I being, am I missing something? And that was it, by the way. The talk, there was a big section talking about loneliness and men and how they can't, they wake up in the morning, they don't have purpose because apparently it's not war. We have peace at the moment. And they carried on and they agreed on that and they carried on on the next. Tell us about your shows in America. And, and I'm like, I'm, are you just going to leave it there? You're not going to discuss any suggestions of young men don't have war now because it's peace time. So, yeah, loneliness. There you go. What? What is going on? Are you not? First of all, I honestly don't know where to begin with that. So, um, is this like saying, let's get some horrific war to give purpose to young men. What are you talking about? Give these people, men and women, a solution and not the platitude again. It's gonna be okay. Just believe in yourself and all that. No, no. Give them the solution out, oh, which by the way, I have it cause I am living it. Solitude. Be happy alone. You, people have all sorts of issues. The fact that they don't have friends, how can I put it? It's not, should not define their mental health because they don't have friends, because they don't talk. Who in this day and age have, has a really close friend? I, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm going to be cynical. I don't see anyone in my environment. I'm talking about my life, about my experience in life throughout. I don't see best friends. I don't see, obviously people have groups. Sometimes I talk to people in the gym. Doesn't mean that that's friendship, that's connection. It's not. Tell people to be okay, alone. Tell people it's fine. Oh, 
you don't have a purpose in the morning, be happy in you. What, what are your interests? What would you like to achieve in life? You don't have to go to a war to be happy. Jesus, what is this? Honestly, be happy on your own. Find what you like in life. What makes you happy? People don't even know. People don't know what makes them happy. I ask people, what makes you happy? And they don't know. I remember I always ask at work, people at work, what was the high, highlight of your year when it's, you know, at the end when we do like the Christmas drinks and everything, what was the highlight of your year? And they, they always say, going on a holiday, they always mention, oh, when I went to Sri Lanka, when I went to Mexico, oh, that was amazing when we went to Tenerife. So you hate your life, basically. You don't, you just try to escape. So the highlights of your life is the holidays when you're by the pool. And it's always that, it's always that answer. There is nothing else. You're not happy. You have your families, you have your friends, you have your, and still all you like is the holiday. There is no loneliness pandemic. You're not happy. There, there is nothing that makes you happy. Nothing. And it has to be a small thing, a free thing. What's in the sunrise? My God, I cry. I, I said that many times. When I see the moon, it makes me cry, actually cry. I see the birds going south now and in the little formations and I cry and that's happiness. I feel grateful. What makes you happy? And I'm not talking your margaritas in Brazil. Enough. Enough. We're just uh, all wrong. Having a connection will not help you. I'm telling you now. Finding a husband will not fucking help you. Finding a wife is not going to help you. You will still be unhappy. It's not the loneliness that makes you unhappy. Trust me on that. It's not. Try and find the strength to find to the happiness in you and try to, to see, talk to yourself, learn yourself and find what is making me happy. I don't have any purpose in life. No, you do. You really do. Find it. And it doesn't have to be about money, about work, about other people. It's in you. I can throw money on you. I can throw cars. I can throw a wife, a husband. If you don't have freedom in your mind and peace in your heart, this one will not matter. I promise you, just be happy. Just, and I say that, I know it sounds so basic and so be happy. Honestly, be happy. Alone. When you're alone, you feel comfortable with yourself. You feel, oh, I can't wait to do this. Oh, I can't wait to even just think. T take a breath. Close your eyes for a minute and concentrate in your breath. Can you do that? Try and do that. And Other people, trust me, will not make you happy if you're not happy within you, within yourself. Thank you for watching another rant. Sorry for, sh <laughs> for shouting. Let me know what you guys think. And have an amazing day.